All right, I've been warning you for some time about this particular problem. It's a nice little uh, hidden item here, and it happens in the next, I don't know, probably six questions that are around this idea. And it all stems from uh, that we're using the mid-segment relationship, but it stems from that little uh, right angle hiding there. And ultimately, uh, that what that's going to mean is that as soon as a right angle pops up, you got Pythagoras, you got trig, you got uh, you got lots of relationships that can be used here. But usually, it's a Pythagorean relationship, and this is no exception. So I guess the first thing to notice is um, that x has got to be 90. Remember, in this relationship, because of those parallel lines, those are corresponding angles that are equal. So x is easy to find. What's a little harder is the uh, value for, for y. But this little area right here, let me put a little number in there, uh, will be a 3 right there. Because uh, if I do the math, x squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And if you're not up to it by now, we've been doing that all along, so that's definitely 3. And then from there, it's pretty easy. If that's 3, then the y value's got to be the 6, because, uh, again, there's a the midpoint, mid-segment relationship is that the mid-segment is half of the other, or if you double the mid-segment, you get that. So keep your eyes uh, open about the Pythagorean theorem over the next couple of problems.